Hey what's going on everyone it is Cynical and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make basic yet nice looking YouTube thumbnails. Um, I'm doing this to help out a mate so I hope it helps any of you other guys out there that are wondering how to make uh, simple yet nice looking YouTube thumbnails. So to start off with I'm using uh, Photoshop CS 5.5 but this uh, tutorial should work with all of the other versions. I don't know about the really old versions like CS 1 and CS 2. Uh, but CS3 upwards, you should be fine. So, yeah. Alright, so first off, you want to go to File, and then you want to hit New uh, for Width, and you make you want to make sure that you're using pixels, not anything else. It's not inches, centimeters, or millimeters or anything. Make sure you're using pixels, and you want to go 1280 by 720. Uh, all of these are kind of optional, they should just be preset like this, so if they're already like this, leave them, if not, copy uh, my options right here, and then you want to hit OK. Now, to start off with my thumbnails, I always like to get my background sorted so that that's done, and then I can put all the, of the other contents to do with the video onto the background, so... Um, if you're not using a picture background, uh, which sometimes I kind of do, I'd like to put a uh, picture here, uh, I generally go with a gradient background. So you guys can just select, if you want, you can just select just one single color background by going to color overlay and then selecting different colors and stuff. But for me, I like to use gradient backgrounds as they look nicer and kind of more professional. So. Here you have a few options, but uh, in my opinion, guys, I would stick to linear and radial. In this video, I'm going to be using radial. So if you're going to use a radial uh, style, uh, I like to make sure that the radial uh, kind of blends in with the secondary color. So as you guys can see here, it looks kind of odd with the purple in the middle, and then it's just kind of like orange. So there's not really much purple in the radial, maybe uh, maybe 10% of this picture right here is purple so I like to spread it out and kind of make it blended more so to do that you want to change the angle to 0 degrees and you just kind of want to slide this bar up to around 135% uh, that way it kind of the, the purple and the orange see how they blend in more nicely uh, so now you're going to be able to change the colors so I'm going to make a nice green so what I like to do, I like to make the lighter color in the middle and the darker color on the outside. So I'm going to use a green color in this video. So I like to use, uh, I'm going to be using a, oh no, actually I'm going to be using yellow. We use yellow. So I like to use the lighter color. So as you guys can see here, I have a light color. So there's my light yellow. And then here. I might go for an orange. On. There we go. And then I like to use my darker color on the outside. Uh, so as you guys can see, we have a nice kind of nice looking background. It's kind of like a uh, yellow with a dark on the perimeter of the background. So now is when you can add your different contents to your page. So um, first of all, you can add. Uh, your text so I like to use the Bayes new I think that's how you pronounce it if not I apologize but the Bayes new uh, font I just use that with my thumbnails but you guys can select whatever th font you want that's just pref you know personal preference so here I'm just going to write in uh, my uh, text so Okay, so now I have my text, and now you guys can just position it uh, by going to Edit and then Free Transform, making sure that you're selected um, the text layer. And to do that, basically just um, select one of these down here, whatever text layer you're using, and then just position your uh, position your text so like like that and this is for one of my videos if you guys haven't already noticed and then you can add um, your pictures so I'm going to be adding this picture right here onto my thumbnail 
Now, if you have a picture with a white background and you want to kind of, you know, you want to make it just so it's just the single picture, not a white background. Basically, what you want to do is you want to go up to this little uh, icon here, which is the uh, magic eraser tool. You want to click it. And when you hover over your picture, if there's a little like kind of circle with a cross going through it, just hit, uh, just click down and hit OK. And then just click on the white parts or whatever parts you want to get rid of. So I want to get rid of all the white parts here. Yeah. There we go. And there we go, there's my picture. So I'm going to position it like this. And um, you guys can increase the size by just simply drag dragging on these little squares in the corner and stuff and you can rotate it and all that there we go now basically there is your thumbnail uh, I like to add a little bit of um, color to my text obviously so if you guys want to change the color of it you can by simply double clicking on the layer or whatever text layer you want to change now there's a few options I like to put here. This is from here on in. It's completely optional. This is per personal preference. So this is what I like to do. I like to just use single colors um, with my text. You guys can use like um, you guys can use uh, gradient colors and stuff like that. But for me, I like to use um, just singular colors. I like to add a drop shadow effect to it. It look just kind of adds a nice look to it and stuff. Uh, you guys can use stroke if you want to. It, kind of, it just adds like a secondary um, border color to your text, but I'm not going to. There we go. And for this piece of text, I'm going to add a drop shadow again. Color overlay. This time I might add a... a red all right so basically there is a basic thumbnail um, you guys can add all sorts of your own personal preferences but that is how you make a basic th YouTube thumbnail and yeah if you guys want to see more Photoshop tutorials I'm happy to do so I like doing these tutorials I don't really do them often but if you guys would like to see them, then make sure you leave your comments in the comment section below. Please like this video if it helped you out at all. I'd really want to know you guys' responses to it. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.